I mean, two inches is way bigger than we all think, right? No. Like, people say two inches, and they think it's small. Two inches, I I think, is actually pretty big. All the black people in the room got real quiet. Right? (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? I was like, nah, nigga. Nah. It's crazy, because I actually... But two inches is just bigger than anyone would think, you know? No. Okay. (laughs) I don't think we know about that. (laughs) Into the episode. (laughs) We got we got Malcolm Mays in the building today. Dude, you're honestly you're like one of the last series regulars from Canaan. <laughs> we had Omar in here. Yeah, We've man. had uh, pretty much one of the last series regulars from uh, everyone from Ghost has been on. A lot of the power cast has been on. A lot of force has been on. We got Malcolm in the building. Finally, we got him. Yeah, well, fuck them niggas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, I'm just kidding. I love them. No, uh, bro, I, you know I don't, I don't really. I don't know. I didn't really like y'all. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna keep it a because we're number you. one. <laughs> is that what it was? <laughs> Listen, I get it. If you know you're, crazy? Ma- if you're you know mad that our numbers are... This motherfucker's charming as fuck. Like, so when you first met him, did you like him? Tell the truth. Bro, when I first met this nigga, me and him did not exchange not one word. I, be- I bet you Except didn't. Except the only words we exchanged was the words on the sides. I so, he's, so he's cancerous. He grow on you. I know this. <laughs> he's cancerous. Like, he's infectious. He, like, your level of positive energy is like one of them people that like, like on some Reese Witherspoon type shit. Like, <laughs> you come in, nigga, and it's like bubbly, and it's like, I can't even deny it. It's you can't either, shake it. No, because either, either you full of shit, or you really a nice, altruistic yeah. person. Mm-hmm. And I'm still figuring it out, but it feels pretty genuine. Yeah. Because before The second here, he leaves, I'm like, oh, fucking thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but the first time I met you, I'm going to be real, the first time I met you, bro, you was walking with a bad bitch in, 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 in uh, New York Park. Like the park, what you was, was walking with a bad one, bro. And you walk, look, look, look. I ain't gonna lie, damn, walk- I'm so cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. And you, and she was tall too. So I was like, you look really like the man. And look, you look like because you're far nicer. Like he, you like your resting bitch face is cold though. Mm. Yeah, I just because because if you seem approachable on the street, everyone wants to talk to you, whether you're on a show or not. People see, oh, they're like, you know. But I didn't see you first. I saw your girl. Fire. Hell yeah, I was looking at her. I was like, you know, I don't know who that is, but hell yeah. Bro, I was like, I was like, damn, that's crazy. I was like, that's <laughs> lightweight <laughs> crazy. I was like, and I was, and I was with a girl too. And I, I was walking by, I seen her, and the girl was like, are you looking at this girl? I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at her. She fired. And then, but then I see you because you came up behind because somebody else taller was in front of you. And then you, <laughs> and then you walked up, and then I looked dead at you, bro, and you did just like this. And just kept walking. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even say hi. Dead I, in my shit and kept walking, and I went. I know he know who I am, cause cause bro, cause bro, this is what happened. Makaya just went to y'all party at the crib. You had just invited him to the crib. Oh, oh the UFC joint. Mm-hmm. But and, but and but I Kanan hadn't to aired yet then. No 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 no. But look, I think it had. No, when when Makai came to our crib, you guys were filming season one, so I definitely didn't know who you were. Well, point blank period to, the, to y'all house, cause he he the famous right. One. So <laughs> and y'all y'all had him over there. And I was like, don't go over there with them niggas. We don't know them niggas. We all, you know, I'm at like, yeah, yeah. like, we don't know them, bro. Like, we don't know them. They're going to set you up. Yeah, they're going to have you with all the bitches and shit. They're going to put you with a white girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then you suddenly going to have pictures and you out. You're going to be Jonathan Major. <laughs> like, straight up. I told him that. I said, hey, bro, don't go over there being buddy, buddy. You don't know them. You yeah. don't know them. Respectfully. I yeah. didn't know y'all. And I was like, bro, like, bro, chill. And he went over there anyway. And he's like, I had a great time. <laughs> they like, were so nice. Like, oh, man. <laughs> he's like, they were it was great so people, cool. Man. He's like, I stayed. I was drinking. I'm like, you don't even drink like that. <laughs> Ever since he met y'all, the niggas an alcoholic. Y'all trying to sabotage Ray Z. Hey, 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 That's hey, what it is. Hey, they trying to sabotage Ray Z. Don't blame Ray it on me. Can't. Listen. Y'all trying to sabotage Five me. said, listen. Five said, listen. <laughs> Take him outside. Make sure you show the boy what's going on. So we, you know, we took him outside. So you tried to poison our good no, boy. No, no, no. Here's the pure spirited lead. Here's the thing. Because <laughs> I see how Mike get down. I see Mike in the sprinter with the girls and the nah, uh-uh and Jamaica. Mike gets down like nobody I've ever met in my life. So that's a rarity. <laughs> okay. That's all a right, rarity. All right, all right. <laughs> you think I'm just in, uh, I may be cool just with one girl in the park. Mike's got the 10 in the sprinter. He's on a different level than me. I can't so even. just dry snitching on the home. Yeah, I can't catalog. compete. I can't. Nah, that's, that's, that's like putting him up. <laughs> that's like, if anything, that's like, it, you know, yeah, y'all but, wild, man. but Tycoon Weekend, when like Makai was just, you know, he was a little in his in his thing. 
Bro, At by the, the third night, Makai's on the stage with the strippers dancing. I know, he was, was sending me the videos. I'm it like, bro, over. what is you doing? Like, <laughs> I mean, so I hated y'all even more, right? Because I'm like, this is a good kid, bro. He's such a sweet they guy. They corrupted right. him. And y'all just had him turn out. <laughs> and so now I'm really like, oh, fuck these niggas. But then, like, I started to see when we, when you uh, you contacted me and everything. And yeah. he was, like, so, like, humble and whatever. And, um, you know, we've seen each other, but we don't really, like, we don't really speak. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's that... Fake rivalry y'all got going on and shit, and I, you know, I don't be knowing what's going on. I'm too, too like focused, but sometimes I'll be seeing shit going on. I'm like, wait, are they friends? Are they not friends? Like, what's going on? We don't situation? even know. <laughs> but then, but then he he started showing me the things y'all told him and, and the situation y'all bring him in voluntarily, and I was like, oh no, they really like nice people. They really trying to integrate him into this. For sure. And yeah. uh, and that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna fuck with them. I like yeah, them. Yeah. They cool. But this, this is a family. Like, I I don't see any competition between any of the power Shout shows. I'm like, Makai, man. It's just, it's just not a competition. Like, we're all winning together. Like, I, I don't understand people would be like, I want to, you know, like, me and Michael, like, we are all, maybe because we would never get cast as the same thing, but we're always trying to push each other to be better and this and, st like, stuff like that. There's I no competition when you're number one is what you're saying. Yeah, just, I just don't, <laughs> I just, I just don't feel a competition with, with people that I, I work with because it's like, we're all here trying to make the same thing and be great together. It's like. Who has time to be like, oh, he's doing this and he's doing that? Like, I just, I don't oh, operate for, like you that. You for sure gonna be on your Matthew McConaughey shit. You gonna be selling life courses and shit, bro. Yeah. Cause I like, <laughs> you really like positive and shit. <laughs> like, but in real life, we all are in competition, and yeah. it's okay. Like, it's okay to it's okay to know that somebody ball a little harder in a left with you know they left right. hand work a little better than yours. It's okay. I don't. I think that people don't want to compete because they don't want other people to feel bad. And like, if you're a good person, you don't want nobody to feel bad. Right. But like in my and the way I am. Like, I told Makai, bro, you had a shit take. Do that shit again. Like, right. you tripping. I told him, like, you think you hard because you better than everybody else, but you being better than everybody else, everybody else is shit. Now you with Patina. You with, you with London. You with, you with, you with real, real shooters. You with real shooters. So you don't get to rest. Like, you tripping. I said, because you slacking. And then... Next time I seen him, he had his notebook. He, he had was pages. On that. He, he was, was on. Yeah, that. I'm on that. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm slacking. I'm like, I bet. Watch this. Not a line missed. Not nothing. Mm -hmm. And and having that level of receptiveness is is I think what's gonna take him to the next. Because a lot of people will hear that and try to like, they try to think you're trying to shit on them. Uh huh. Like or try to sun them or something yeah, like that. Exactly. And I'm like, no, bro. I'm just I'm gonna always be real with you, even if you don't like me. And mm -hmm. the same thing go with y'all. Like if I think y'all shit mid, I'm gonna tell you it's mid. When mm -hmm. you do your shit, I'm gonna be like, you did your shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like when you came in there smoking niggas, I was like, oh okay, nigga trying to. You know, he trying to get busy. Like, <laughs> I seen him trying to do his little acting thing. You know, he's doing his thing. He's killing. It was dope. But I, but it's things like that that, like, I appreciate. You know, just, yeah. the, you know, we got to know where we stand. And being yeah, able to sure. take constructive criticism and take you far in this, Correct. In this Correct. world, for sure. For sure. Correct. So I, I want to know, like, where it started. Like, wh where did this journey start for you with music, with, with acting? Like My mama pussy. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, that's the only time we've ever gotten that answer. Oh yeah, no, you're not gonna put sure. that in. Anyway. <laughs> nah, no, uh, that, that's my... staying. <laughs> that is staying. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. my mama's womb. It started with no real shit though. Like uh, as all jokes aside, like my mother's the reason that everything occurred for me. My mama for real. Like my mama's like a goddess, bro. She like different. Like everything I ever wanted to do, she she facilitated everything like she spent her last dollar we would i didn't even she was so good at making sure i had opportunities that when i realized i was poor it was because of other people like when i realized i wasn't in the best situation that like, that I, like you know how like you grow up living on a block or whatever and there's parties there's like block parties there's like everybody's kind of communal it's just a very communal thing um it's like if socialism worked that's what the block was back in the day and so it felt fun i didn't know i was in the trenches you know right. like i didn't realize it and my mother didn't move like a woman who was she moved like you know how they say you can't buy class right that's my mama and so my reality was warped i thought that i grew up in the best place in the world and <laughs> everybody was dope and until you that's know, fire though that she you know, just it, she kind of like hid that from you in a yeah, way she manipulated like, yeah. it she for sure is a liar yeah. <laughs> like, my mother is a liar but there's good liars she's and like bad your liars. mama in the show yeah. she, like, she lied for a good reason yeah, yeah, yeah. there's good reason. liars and there's bad liars right right right, right. no she's amazing at it she's she can she can compete with tasha the way she did it. <laughs> like she she did and I, when i by the time i discovered it i was already the the kind of the person she wanted me to be so so it was it was all right it was her and 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 what age was that like how how old were you at that point um i think it's when my homeboy died i was like 12 13 that's when it that's when it that's when it was like she couldn't hide it no more like, right like when over. kids is dying it's over it's yeah, different. Right. You know you where you come from, man. Yeah, and yeah. At that point, when you, once, the, once the kids start, yeah. when, when you start going to school and people that you go to school with ain't there in class, and you on t-shirts and shit, like that's when shit got like real dark. Um, but, but even in that, it was like some kind of like 
we really rallied together and had like like uh what's that shit called like we used to have like fundraisers for like the funeral and it would be at the car wash and everybody show up to the car wash to pay for the funeral so even that was like a beautiful unity amongst right, my yeah. people that's why i love that where i'm beautiful. from so much you know right. that's why i talk about it like that you know right. what are we talking about today mike <laughs> listen man we got some nice natural beautiful plant-based products and it's crazy because they're called Plant Made. Plant Made. Shout out to our friends at Plant Made. Genderless, ageless, and it works for all hair types. I mean, look, I got the wave spinning, you know what I'm saying? He don't got no wave spinning, but it works for him. You know, it, it works for everybody, like I said. Damn it! It's all right. I absolutely love the way that these products feel. It just feels natural and fresh. It smells amazing. I just love Plant Made. I just love these products. And I, I'm just glad that they're a part of the team now. The anniversary is June 22nd. That's two days away. So Plant Made has been a trusted company that's been around for almost three years, making the best products that you could possibly make. And on top of that, it's black woman owned. And you know how? Boy feels about black women, baby. Now listen, if you a fan of the crew, has it, you could get 15% off of your entire order, but you gotta use the code crew. Listen, you know we're always looking out for you guys. 15% off your entire order. Use the code crew. That's plantmade.com. P-L-A-N-T-M-A-D-E.com. Use that code crew. C-R-E-W. No minimum spends. It's not like you're in the club and it's nasty promoters. Like, oh, 5K minimum. Baby taxing Get them out of here. There's no minimum spends. You could get whatever you want. You could get one product. You could get all the products. Whatever you want. Plant Make made sure you use that code, though. Plant Made won't tax you. I mean, they will have tax, but <laughs> Plant Made won't tax you. Yeah, like they're not, they not going to make you break your pockets. Yeah. Though, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, use that code. Now, look, after this um, episode, I'm going to go home. Do me a nice little washing style, you know, wash the hair, brush the hair, then I'm going to throw some of this in there, you know, it's the drizzle. It's good for the shine, it's good for the, you know, to moisturize your hair, hydrate, it's going to get you right. Listen, man, plant me. It's my new favorite drone. God, he's so cool. Back to the episode. Back to the episode, baby. Yeah, I fucking love LA too, babe. It's the greatest place. The world. <laughs> it's the greatest well, place. We might be talking about two different LA's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. He's I was about to say, what part of LA? What part yeah, of LA? Yeah. Um, South Central Los Angeles. I'm moving yeah. around a lot, but yeah, the, but Baldwin LA. Village, which is AKA the jungles, that's where I'm. That's where I grew up. So, yeah, that's home. So, so wh when did you start deciding, like, oh, I, I, like, was it acting first? Was it music first? Was it both at the same time? It was both. Like my church, I went to first AME. They, you know, they had the choir, first fruits, and all that, and you singing and. You know, even our band ended up being one of the biggest producers in the world. Like, 1500 or Nothing is one of the biggest groups. Like, they produce for everybody. Like, that was, like, my friends as a kid, like, 10 years old, you know? And then, like, so I was doing music always. And then acting, arts. They, you know, like, when we was younger, it wasn't like this segmented way of doing things. There was these old school thought that you had to be a full-fledged, well-rounded artist. You had right. to tap, sing, dance. Like, you know, because the older black community that was in, theater wanted you to be a full weapon because they had to be 10 times better than everybody. Right. So we was trained like that. Like that was the way. It was never like this thing where you don't do this, you don't do that, you got to focus on this. It was, right. You got to do everything because you a poor black kid. <laughs> Dance, you don't know boy. what they're going to throw it in. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Exactly. Like Sammy Davis was not only the, one of the best you know, singers, he was also one of the best actors. He also was one of the best. He could tap. Like the, it was crazy. He did vaudeville. So I think we came from that school of like thought when it in my little program in my neighborhood. So that's fire. So then, wh when did you start getting a little bit of success? Was it early? Did you like book a couple things small, or or was it more of like kind of at the same time? I think the every the first thing I ever booked was was like NYPD Blue. I was like ten. Oh damn. Yeah, but my mama said no. Really? What? Yeah, she ain't shit. <laughs> oh, mama. Why? Yeah, hey, mama. <laughs> mama. She was like, because she didn't want me to turn out like Michael Rainey, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Driving fast cars. You yeah, know what I'm saying? With here's all the, the thing, girls. if you turn out like Michael I know, Rainey, right? I would've you probably would have pulled up in an Audi R8 today, <laughs> 40 minutes late with a fire girl. That's you know crazy. I mean? Well, you know what's funny? The first time no I was in an Audi, Audi R8 <laughs> was with a fire girl. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she had it. Yeah, so I was just in her shit. That's hard. No, but that's um, even better, honestly. That's even better. I need me a fire girl with an R8. Yeah, no, that was I'm tired of picking y'all up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of paying for the gas. Yo, this this city, Uber, Easy this pass, point. kicking my ass right That's now, man. Wild, These toes bro. is crazy. Not the city. Get, get one nearby, bro. It's just more effective economically. Um, no, so I'll say that. i say, yeah, my, um, I booked that, 
That was the first thing I ever booked, and my mama said no because she didn't want me to turn out like a Disney kid. Yeah. Because all the Disney kids turned out to be crackheads. Right. Yo. So she was. <laughs> no disrespect. I'll, I'll fuck with y'all. Yeah. No, but you're right, bro. It, it's tripping. A, I, I I think the difference, and tell me if I'm wrong. Mm. Um. And I'm I, older than the new Disney kids. The new right. Disney kids, they like the new pro athletes. They never going broke. Yeah. I'm talking about the ones prior. Right. Pre Shia. Right. Pre Shia Disney kids was fucked up. Right. Like, they, was, they was. They had them doing crazy shit. They yeah. Had, they was, was losing lot. themselves the, a little the bit. The thing about Mike is Mike was on television when he was really young and famous when he was young but he still grew up in Staten Island around his, his he wasn't in LA going out every night with all like all these I didn't kids. realize like 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 the type of notoriety I had till I was like 17 18 bro I swear that to god that makes sense cuz that's when I started seeing you on Vine and shit yeah that's when homies. that's when shit started really like happening like obviously like before that like some people knew what I was doing, but like n nothing I did before that was really like on some like groundbreaking like oh uh, shit. So your mama lied to you too. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. your mama kept Somewhere, you away from yeah. shit too. Yeah, I mean, cause yeah. you were way famous before that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't notice none of that. Until, yeah, you was always the badass little kid in the movie. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah, I stuck my first movie, Love. I was bad as shit. Yeah, <laughs> I was, was bad. Of, always the badass little kid. But yeah, man, it was weird. Yeah, but when you're growing up in LA like that, you're around oh, everything. Yeah, you, you're 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 an adult by the time you're like 15. You're going to the clubs, all this stuff. Like you grew up in you. I don't think I had that experience, bro. I can't lie to you. I think that there's this misconception that LA is one big place. That shit is bigger than some small countries. Oh, for sure. The GDP alone is like, like, bro, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, people don't realize how much economy, how much commerce, how many bodies is in LA. For sure. My high school class was bigger than some some populations of some small yeah. like counties. Like, yeah. So for me, it was never like we didn't I never met nobody that was famous until I was up. You feel me? Like, right. Be well, because like you said before, like you lived in a different, like I live yeah. in a different LA than you grew up in. Correct. For sure. Correct. Correct. So you like. What no green juices. Right. Back, back, right. Wasn't no kale salad. Kale right. salad. Right. Wait, that. you guys yeah. don't have acai bowls down there? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had something else. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a, it's a different world. So all those Disney kids are going out to in Hollywood and the clubs and Beverly Hills and all this stuff. Like that's a different world. Like the Johnny Depp's, all that stuff is a different world than where you grew up in. Where it's like he kind of grew up maybe closer to where like in the. Yeah, I was in the the most normal kid up until I was 18. Like, I literally played football, basketball, all them years until, like, eight, like, until I... But that's good for you, because yeah. now you, now you, you know, you don't, you're not as weird as these niggas, you exactly. know what I'm saying? I like, grew up around just straight, normal human beings, so I was just good. nothing but that. Like, I think good. that's why we get along so well, is because I, I, it's not that I don't, like, get along with actors, but, like, I no, just I don't, don't like actor niggas. Yeah, I just I don't, don't like. <laughs> I don't like actors. Uh, remember, that's, that's why me and him never did the same word. I swear, that's literally why me and him did not. I thought exchange he the word. was, and he thought yeah, I was. I thought he was a weird ass. Oh, that's how me and Woody was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, me and Woody have known each other for years. Yeah. Never spoke. I was like, bro, I don't fuck. He don't. He don't like. We both were like. Who's, who he think he is. Right. We both was like that. Right. And then the, the first time me and Woody had a conversation, thanks, shout out to, this is one of the gifts that I got from Power, was Woody. Now he's one of my closest, like, confidants. Like, as homies, we've been locked in because when I finally met Woody, I realized he's a very humble dude. Yeah, super. He's such a, like, He's funny if you know him. He's like, when he's comfortable, like he's a, a whole personality, but otherwise he's very closed off because he grew up normal as well. Right. So he's a normal dude and he had the same affinity for like this weirdo Hollywood shit. He like, I don't want to get caught up. I don't want to fuck up. Right. And um, my nigga Tristan liked that too. Like he didn't want to fuck up. So he didn't associate. But when you finally meet him as a Shout person. Tristan, man. Oh, you good? What? Yeah, that's like, he really SI. Yeah, like him and his brother. Who's my that's Real my guy. Right there. Yeah, they got they got their names initialed in the concrete in the project. Yeah, yeah, and that's why Stapleton. me and him are best friends. Yeah, yeah. His, his, that's his why me pops, and my pops, they super cool. Like they they grew up together. Yeah, that. project babies. Like yeah, that's yeah. why me and Tristan connected because we project babies. So yeah. like we there's just there's just so many actors that ruin it for everyone though, that are like bad they're the way that they act, the way like they think that they just deserve all this. I don't know. I just don't don't deal with those type of people. It's drama filled. Like that's why yeah, it's like that everywhere though. Like like for me, bro, I never even knew that half the shit y'all be doing. Like when niggas was like, oh, people are doing coke and they're having sex parties. Yeah, and, they be doing. And, and I'm like, I ain't never, ain't nobody ever like. Wait, I, you wait, know wait. how they be like the casting couch with the gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> I be like, ain't nobody ever tried to fuck me. Am I ugly? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I feel yeah. bad. Yeah. At some point, I'm like, why ain't nobody trying to invite me to the sex cult with the yeah. millions? Of, I'm gonna say no, but. It, what I'm not, I'm not I'm handsome enough. The, yeah, I'm still with the Listen, invite I, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm let me no. deny it. Like, let me. Let I will say I'm not weird. Illuminati? I'm not weird with any. I'm not like with any of the weird Hollywood shit. But I, I'm, I'm in with the sex cults. That's the, the one thing. Cool. That's the one thing I'm like, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show up. I'll put my keys yeah, yeah, yeah. at the door. I'll show up 30 minutes late, but I'm still <laughs> yeah. coming. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, the orgies you're all into. Got it. You no, know, for me, it's like I never had. I always wanted to be invited to the Illuminati right. shit so I can fuck they shit up. And then I realized this is some dumb shit. This shit don't exist. It's really just like people. 
got their friends. If you into weird shit and you got a friend that's into weird shit, y'all doing weird shit. Right, right, right. That's what y'all doing. Right. Just like if you a, a homie and you like paintballing, you're going to go paintballing with your homie. Right. If you like whatever, you just going to click with your peoples. It's just there's a lot of weird, weird people. Shit. Yeah. Because weird I think what we do shit. is naturally exhibitionism. Mm -hmm. That's why actors, rappers, dancers, drug dealers, like they all kind of have this this thing, this need to be to be seen. Yeah, right. put on a show. And that's why they always end up rock stars and porn stars like they all end up because they all have this hole right. that they're trying to fill. Do you think, do you think, this is my take on this, and it could be just me, it could be, do you think once you start <clears throat> getting everything that you see on TV, on Instagram, this and that, once, once everything becomes easier, there's like, well, like, I've noticed it in myself and go, that's a dangerous place to be. You want to, like, have, you know, you know, do more risky stuff, like, like, be with that girl that's with that guy. Like, that excites you. You know what I mean? I don't give a you, you, you don't First of all, I didn't get any of that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We're so, not ghosts. So, We're so, not number one, bro. Remember? Oh, well, that's like, true. We don't have... Actually, what? that is fair. You guys, are, <laughs> you guys are just trying to be number one on stars. Sag minimums so. right now, right? right? You know what I'm saying? Right. No, right. no, but um, no, we're the art crew, okay? Right. We're, right. We have our integrity. Right. You guys have everything else. Right? Listen, you can keep your <laughs> listen. You can keep your integrity. Baby. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can keep your artistic bling, bling. show. <laughs> we got bling 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 bling. No, but I, I definitely um no we you have attained like me. I've been blessed enough to where I came so far from the bottom that the moment I got a taste of something which was snowfall, that's when I got some money. Right. Snowfall was when I got some money, and first season cleared cleared all my family debt. Easy, boom, and I was like confused because I thought that you had to be a millionaire to like. To like enjoy shit. I thought you had to be a millionaire to, to make it. Like I thought you had to be a millionaire right. to like, oh, now that's true because of inflation. But at the time, yeah, yeah, for, I, yeah. I was like, if I'm not the biggest artist on the planet, how am I gonna save my family? Right. Like I I but what I realized was it was more so, you know, in relationship to how how down bad we was, like was that like, oh, I could clear this, boom. And then it became, you know, it became the things that weigh on me or the things that like become that are dangerous for me is that I, I just give shit because I feel guilty. Right. Mm -hmm. I come me with too. a hood tax. Me too. That hood tax gets you. You look up, you done pay seventy thousand dollars in funerals. Right. And bail. And you know, the homies, you know, baby mama's needing this and that and like putting shit on green dots and JPEGs and mm -hmm. you you look up and your budget, you like, I spent a quarter something on yeah. on on, the, on people that I love and care about, which they need it. But that's how that's how I never even had enough money. I don't know how y'all got weed habits. Like I'm still confused as to how niggas be poor and be having pounds. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. I don't get it, yeah. bro. Yeah, and it gets more expensive. And I, <laughs> and I never. I was always with the homies. I'm like, damn, how you got a pint of lean, nigga? Yeah. That shit is Nah, expensive. that shit. Nah, that is expensive. Because <laughs> when they like, drop it, they be on the floor yeah. trying to. Hey, hey, watch they out. trying to scoop it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they go, okay, I've never understood that, bro. I always thought habits were expensive, including females. So I ain't never had no habits. Like my habits have always been like. Bro, I'm poor. I can't have no habits. That's a real thing. And so habits now are it's expensive. Kept. Habits are that, expensive as shit. That, oh, you just, oh, you just... <laughs> that's crazy. You just, <laughs> you, just, you just had a real reflective my tab, moment. My tab is going to the club, baby. <laughs> I got so too expensive. many of them. <laughs> that's so expensive, bro. Fucking cars. Like you said, females. Yeah. Well, you can afford it. You can afford it. I'm just saying, for me, it's like I can't get lost in nothing because I, I don't think I can afford it. Right. I'll be worried about, like, you know, more so I'll be worried about, like, you know, doing something to somebody. I don't really be worried about like, am I gonna get addicted to a woman that loves Drake? Like, no, <laughs> no. But, but but I'd you, never have that happen. Yeah, but you ever. see where that could, where that could happen is like you get like especially like these people who are like Drake, for example, which he's actually had a pretty clean track record. Of, Aubrey of P yeah, no, he can afford it. No, but, it's, it's not a clean track record. This is what I'm saying, like, bro, he like, he he can he, do anything, anything and it'll go under the radar. Correct, like, cause you gotta think about it. It's, it's being too big to fail. He's too, he's the banks. Right? right, like in 08 when everything crashed and it was like, mm, it's okay. Right. right, that's Drake. Then there's people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's fine. He's good. It doesn't matter what he does. He's made that's them fair. billions of dollars. Right, like, he's, he's good. good. Like he comes in a building at Universal and they're like, sir, please stay. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. what do you need? Then there's artists who like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disrespect nobody directly, but the reality is, it's like you had one or two hits, bro. You couldn't take that L. Like Joe can't afford, couldn't afford a habit. Right. Like, he had to really work his way back up to being a podcast king. He couldn't just, I'm going to go get addicted to some shit and I'm going to bounce back. He didn't right. have enough hits for that. Right. Some people, like Whitney, Whitney had enough hits to be addicted to crack. Right. 
She's Whitney fucking Houston. Right. Mariah Carey can be a bitch for her whole career and not worry about being nice to anybody. You know why? Because she's saying Christmas, yep. nigga. Yep. It don't matter. <laughs> yep. She don't got to do shit. your station. Like, right. She don't got to do shit. Nah. Just know when December, December comes around, she is caking, <laughs> caking up. Yeah. So she chooses, like, Aubrey chooses to be a good person. So like when that's why I respect those certain type of people, bro. Right. Like, yeah, I don't I don't it's really, all a choice. Right? Yeah, correct. Exactly. It's so for me, when I when I see this shit like, bro, I'll be like, mm, I don't know. Like, I, I understand it. It's, it's there, but like I'm more worried about somebody being disrespectful to somebody on set and me tripping. For sure. That's what I'm the same fucking way. I'm the same fucking way. That, like bro. I almost hit a priest. Yeah. On set. Like shit, anybody could get it. That's yeah. fact. <laughs> like he was tripping, like we shooting, he tripping, touched this girl a little too hard, and like you know, I'm like oh yeah, you getting gonna get beat the fuck up, like and but I don't think of myself as a. That's what I would ask y'all. You on the set, you don't think of yourself as like the as the actor. As the actor, the, that's actor, what I want to like ask when, y'all. When real life situations happen outside the set, you yeah. like nah, it's like it's not it's not happening. Because I'm a human like being. Yeah. I'm a human. Like I have, this is the thing, and this is what I want to ask y'all. So for me, my experience is I I didn't realize I was famous. Oh yeah. Like I, that period where you don't realize mm-hmm. that people care about who the fuck you are. I went through that too. Right. So that this shit is a tough period. So I'm curious to see what y'all went because mine has been very difficult. Because I'm like, you know, my, you know, my friends, my mama, my homies, my even the homies who do dumb shit is like, bro, you can't do the dumb shit that we right. do. And I'm like, why not? I'm a human having a human experience. You think because I'm getting paid in front of a camera that I don't have people die, right. that I don't have people that need things, that like I'm gonna just take your disrespect because you might tweet about it. Go ahead, tweet about it, nigga. You gonna get it regardless <laughs> because you're not finna. Because I feel like it's an abuse. Do you feel like people abuse? Like hell yeah, they abuse the fact that you're a celebrity and you shouldn't be like clapping back and you shouldn't be, you know, saying certain shit to certain people that say certain shit to you. It's like, bro, at the end of the day, I'm human, bro. And do you miss going to the store and just being able to go to the store? Honestly, I could still do that to a certain extent, like in New York at least. I could do that in New York, but other places, yeah, definitely is like it's weird. But New York, you could I could chill like. I know how to move. When if I go to if I go to like if I go to like some yeah. some like crazy. white ass fucking place like no one yeah. even fucking bats an eyelash. You know what I mean? <laughs> but 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 if you're like I can you're I'm, Houston, right, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> but yeah, I, Houston is over. Some places Houston that I can, is over. That I can move just under the radar, but like. Sometimes you can't, you can't avoid it and you don't know what you're going to get into. Like, there's some place where I know I know it's going to be like that. Like, I went through a phase where I'm like, I don't need fucking security. Exactly. I'm, I don't need security. I'm just now getting out right. of that phase, bro. Right. So I'm going to be real with you. Now, this is, I'm going to say something really substantiative. For me, bro, it's like I be worried about losing everything. Yeah. I worry every day about, like, whether it's a, like, not even, like, females. Like, I'm pretty straight there. But if there was, you know, or, like, somebody, not even me doing anything, I worry about people like saying something that oh, didn't sure. happen for and it sure. becoming a fact because the mob on the internet with the TikToks and the everything and it's spiraling out of control oh, and I lose shit everything. Like nothing. They spin shit so easily, yeah. bro. And that's what I, I really, that's the fear I have. Like, what's your, like, that's... It, I got I receipts of everything. <laughs> everything. I make sure, like, nah, I Because people really run with the craziest of false narratives nowadays. Yeah. Like, once enough people run with it, it's done. Like, yeah. it's, it's a fact. Like, they turn it into a fact once enough people believe right. it. Yeah, even in my song, I was like, yo, um, security protects y'all from me. Because they think they're like, oh, like, I don't have security because of y'all. Like, I can handle y'all. Right. It's, I don't want to have to be the one to do nothing to you. Right. So it's like, because I really, really like people. I really like, I don't like people, but like, I appreciate them. You feel me? I'm the same way. Yeah, like, I, I, I like going to like a hosting and seeing, oh my, all these people came out to just party with yeah, me. Yeah, I appreciate this that. This is shit. fucking amazing. Like, I'm getting paid for this. So, like, I will go and like, we'll record on phones. We'll go talk to people. Like, I'm not too cool to sit in the back. But it's you when they me? do too much. Right. It's when people do too Grabbing much. Grabbing you and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's like a respect thing. Like, it's like, Bro, we all humans at the end of the day. Like, would you really want me coming up to you, just grabbing you? Like, you, like I don't know you, my nigga. Like, if I'm a regular human, like, obviously, like, you you a fan of the show. My, if Michael Rainey Jr. comes up to you and, yo, you would probably be fine with it. But if I wasn't Michael Rainey Jr. and you're you just a random nigga, I'm like, going to come like, up Like when a boy kissed a girl. No, I ain't even going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, that nigga, that nigga bugged Oh, I but, just saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's wild. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, but shit like that is like, I'd be like, yo, like. You know, we we human beings. Like, let's keep respect. Let's right. keep respectful. But I do realize I'm property of black women at this point. <laughs> like, like at this point, when you are a male mm-hmm. in the un- in the power universe, you are the property of black women. That's yeah. facts. Period. Yeah. Yeah. You have so, no choice. In you the power no universe say. and in the streets, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Patina you say, hey, um, <laughs> please do, <laughs> please do. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> no, but for real, like I realize that I'm not my own no more, mm-hmm. and that's the hardest yeah, that's part. That's a tough thing to realize. Like, it's a tough thing to do it because, like, damn, bro, like I can't do this no more like I can't I can't just get up and go 
Like, you know, like, I just can't do this regular shit I've been doing, like, years ago. And now I got to really, like... And, and it's this, worth the money. I, I don't want to champagne right. problems. Like, it's worth the money, but so I was just going to say that. Yeah. yeah, it is champagne problems. But also, this is the last thing I'll say about this because it is champagne problems, this and that. I, I also don't like when people are, well, you guys are overpaid. You guys get paid too much money. These people get this amount of money and this. It's like, we have publicists. Our taxes are insane. Close, close, this, that. We have to hire security. We have to hire drivers because we can't do Ubers. We have to, our expenses are so high for what we have to do that we're making the same shit as you're making. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, to a certain extent. Yeah, to a certain a extent. I would say that, like, you know, our overhead is higher than most people's and they don't know that, but like people are really struggling. So you're right, it is champagne problems. Right. I relate is because I, I, I got to cut that check. Right. You know yep. what I'm saying? But That's I, true. but, but I never, like, even with the writer's strike, right? Like, I'm a part of the writer's union. Right. And, um, there's portions where I'm like, we arguing over this much money, nigga. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> like, this, like this amount but, of money can change exactly, my life. Exactly. Yeah. But I also understand that when you live in a a, a high populous area uh, in a high cost of living area, then you you gotta make enough to live. Right. You know, it's just a higher price point. That's why the homies be moving to other places that are cheaper, and they like, man, it's way easier on my life here because rent was worth rent for a small cracker box in New York can get me a three, four, five bedroom home right. in the South. Yes. So that's why people be moving Arizona, Las Vegas. You know, because like. if you use that money, that the re re relocation money that, you know, they give you to move and you move into a place that, that you can't walk around there. No, on God, I can't. I stay inside though. I don't go nowhere. Like I, I like, like I told you, my biggest fear is fucking everything up, doing something to somebody. So right. I'll be inside. I don't know how y'all go outside. That's probably part of the reason I didn't like y'all. <laughs> y'all were always outside. See, right. very happy about your success. <laughs> right. Be a little sadder. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they're yeah. a real working. These niggas work cameras. They got to listen to y'all every day. You know, they got to do it a lot of yeah. our bullshit. <laughs> like, like, Sorry, you know, guys. Don't look so happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is why I do this, though. I don't do this for fame. I don't right. do this for whatever the fuck some people do this for. I do this because I get to work with my best friend every day. I get to go to set, make people laugh. I get to have fun. I get to have conversations with fucking interesting artists, creative people. This is I love what I do every day. Why the fuck am I? Why would I be sad? I make great money and I have a good time with people I love. That's why I do this. I get to go to set and make dick jokes and do this and do that. <laughs> where, where else? Where else can you do that? Not at Raising Canaan. All right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we don't make dick jokes at Raising. No, Canaan. no dick jokes over no, there. There's a sign above the no set. Dick jokes, right? No dick right. jokes. No dick jokes. No dick jokes. Set. Must have Tony. Damn. Um, <laughs> that's why. Tony. That's why the numbers. That's why the numbers in that go say more dick jokes in Raising Canaan. He said nah, more Tonys. <laughs> yeah, Tony. He said Tonys are required. Yeah, you nah, gotta you have. Guys, a, you you have, have to have a statue. Statues are required. Yeah, really. that's fair. Um, that's tough. The, <laughs> Everybody tough. got a statue over there, some of some kind. Yeah, um, I need me one. That shit is. How wild. is it over there? You guys, have, you guys have. It's a little more serious over there because Michael and I went, <laughs> went to go visit at the end of last season. Yeah, and we did see a spoiler, and we're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to see that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna repeat it. The theme of this show is I hate y'all because y'all <laughs> lives look so fun. Even when y'all got to have your your premiere party. Oh no, we had the premiere. Yeah, you guys I got to, have, yeah. but you guys had the party. You guys had the fucking party. Yeah, we didn't have no party. Nah, Wait, which party? The party? No, the part when, when we were supposed to be shut down, I was seeing y'all niggas outside regularly. Yeah, but that was just our party. That was just us. <laughs> that was just us. That was just us. That was just us. That was just us. We was like, yo, we got to do something. Did you not just hear me say, don't enjoy this so much? The whole cast of Razor Kane is like, we can't go. They wouldn't let us go nowhere. But y'all, y'all was outside yeah. with 50. Well, 50 yeah. hanging out with y'all. I was on my birthday. Like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> we over here like, and by the way, I'm showing up every day. Lines learned, super thick packet, like, you know, going crazy, like really in character. Mm. And all I see is y'all just having the greatest time. Now we did get a phone alive. call about that. Yeah, we all did get a phone call about that. Lines game started. They hit us. They was like, yo, we saw the pictures from this weekend. Um, You know, we, we kind of locked down. I don't know what you, you know, but you guys got to remove those, those photos, you guys outside. I'm like, ah. Oh, Come on, it yeah. looks look So lit. we did get a phone call. Okay, cool. But we I do have a, a good better. time. We but do yes, have a good time. But yes, we are a little more at Raising Canaan. I don't even think, like, Patina got a got a kid and a husband who's like, like, the, and, Sorry, go on. if it go makes you look better, he looks kind of like you in the next two I know, years. I did. <laughs> I did meet him. He came in, he looked like white hair like me. I'm he's like, also, yeah, Jordan. He's also stupend, he's stupendously successful. Oh, yeah, yeah I know. And like, Nas yeah. is his partner. 
Yeah. You know? That's why. Well, I'm stupendously successful. Michael Rainey Jr. is my partner, so what are we <laughs> saying here? I ain't Nas yet. But, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Nas, but he's not Nas. Yo, yo, yo. Let me know if y'all doing that bio. <laughs> yo, they do be putting this up on that online. They be like, yeah. oh, you know, they be really Kinda trying to get him, man. But, um, yeah, shout out Jungle, man. That's Nas' brother. We was actually yeah, talking about that. Shout out Jungle. Yeah, fuck man. with him. Yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah, that would be fire. Yeah, they was trying to do Give a me show a little part, you feel me? A little gold cap. You know? It's yeah. a go. It's yeah, a go. That should be fire. But yeah, y'all had a lit ass fucking premiere party, though. Y'all had that, 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 the 90s theme, you had all the old school beamers outside. Man, y'all didn't say not one word to us after y'all saw that shit. I was like, oh, they I hating. Was, <laughs> y'all didn't like, say this. shit to I us. Like, Damn, I like, didn't see not one, nobody, Makai maybe, because you guys were cool at that point. But I'm like, we ain't getting no love. I ain't I seen no up, love. I pulled up on everybody. Yeah, I pulled up on everyone. I was, I was having fun in that for me. I ain't gonna lie. To me. I never talked to y'all. I don't, bro, I, I said what's up to you at, the, at that shit. I swear. You might have said what's up to NLE who was next to me. Nah, I said what's up to everybody. You said what's up to me? I swear to God. You I said what's up to me. You're going to run that footage back, man. Yeah, we're going to run it back. Because I don't think so. I swear, bro. I swear. You I said say what... earlier, his resting bitch face is working <laughs> yeah, 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 he'd be like, he'd be like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so sometimes like, nah, he don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> well, you know that feeling. Like like you said, you got normal friends. I have real friends. I don't really want no friends. Right. Like, like I'm cool, which is stupid. So then why are you mad at us that we're not coming up to say hi to you? <laughs> because it turns out y'all are really fun. Yeah, okay, cool. I like and that. I would like to have some fun. I like that. I'm tired of get. I'm sure Haley's tired of crying every episode. <laughs> Makai is fucking doing crazy shit every episode. And hey, y'all, y'all back now, so we, we got a time to chill, too. Yeah, we are. All right, we're oh, coming, so you know we're coming to Atlanta tomorrow. Come with. No, well, Atlanta, Atlanta for sure a thing, and you know what y'all need to do? My, my album release party. That's where y'all need to Oh, yeah. So, really? so I can get the words from the two lit, yeah. lit boys. They come. Look, y'all, y'all know. We're going to be at Malcolm shit. We're going to be at it's Malcolm shit. It's in New York? I'm going to have some in New York. We got to do it before we rap. Where do y'all rap? Um, in a month, like a month and a half. Part, oh yeah, for sure. Before that, because my and project dropped June twenty third. Oh yeah, Gucci. Yeah, I got a whole big thing coming. So. I'll be dead honest. Like I just, I really didn't know. Like I've always respect you. I think you're a fucking great actor. I love watching your work. Um, I just never knew the vibes. Like yeah. I was always like, because every time I see London, London comes up. Because London's like me in a way. He's, he's a like happy. Dude. He's yeah. a yeah. London guy. Yeah, shit, yeah he's oh actually a great. He's actually a great guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> a, oh, the best guy. Like yeah. I text him sometimes. Like Makai is always great. I talk to Haley. I know everyone on the show. You're the one guy that I'm like. Maybe he doesn't like us. And tur and turns out he does. I actually because really the boys is popping. <laughs> but that's why I just never knew the vibes. I'm like yeah. now. This is why I love this show. Is because I get to like. I would have never had an hour and a half conversation. Yeah, with not Omar at all. Well, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, right. I don't like people. Omar don't like people either, which right. is why we early on got cool. Cause like he, he was like, I don't like, I don't like nobody. All right, we like, we like each other. Now me and Omar do text like, and London calls you on his birthday. That's how, that's how good of a person he is. He's calling everybody like, hey man, I'm so grateful for you. Yeah, yeah. Like by the way, London, I knew it was your birthday, and I actually got you something. I forgot to say something because you was talking so fast. <laughs> but um, but bro will call you on his birthday. That's the level of person he is. Haley. You know, did a birthday and was like, "Hey, we should do our birthdays together" because they ain't around the same time. I'm like, "Okay." Like, there's there's such good people that it took a minute for me to be like, like, "What the fuck?" Now I love them. <laughs> now, like, if anybody play with them online, I don't care who it is, bro. It's up. Like, sure. even, even like when Fifth was kind of bullying Petita a little bit online, yeah. and he was like, "I wasn't bullying her. I was trying to big up her." And I was like, "Oh, he's genius. Yeah. Fifty's genius." And Patina didn't know because she's nice. not used to the way that it operates. So I had to be like. I was like, hey, man, why are you doing Patina like that? He's like, what, you mean trying to make her a star? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, because it's so weird now. The internet is so weird. Like, you could be bigging up someone, like, and you yeah. could share a positive message about them. Yeah. Nobody would pay attention to that no, shit. As soon no. as you say something funny about someone or say someone did some weird, funny shit, the whole world wants to see what's going on. Nigga. And 50 particularly antagonistic. And he knows what's going on. He knows Yeah, like, because Patina's that. point of view was like, oh, I don't, don't, you don't have to put down no black women or whatever. He's like, he's not putting down black women. He's just... He's 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 really in a competition. Right. He doesn't actually mean just because I say I'm better than you that he doesn't like you. Right. He's just like, like y'all are like we cool. It's like yeah, but we're number one. Keep right. it cute. Like that's how he is. <laughs> that's you know he's funny. And, that's facts. <laughs> and he's a normal he's a normal dude like that. And for me, it's like I think he forgets that he's famous because yeah. me and Renee always talking like mm. he's like fifty forgets that he's famous or doesn't care. Either he just doesn't nah, care. Yeah. I just he just doesn't he care. knows he's famous. He just yeah, doesn't he care. Fuck, but yeah. but I mean like when he going back and forth, he he's shooting the dozens like like how we talk shit. Like if I'm with you and I'm like bro, you are big headed ass. Whoa whoa whoa. <laughs> but you as fifty cent can't tell nobody a you a big headed ass blah 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 because a they're either scared that you're gonna kill them or b you know. They don't know you, and they don't know that you're and, joking. And your words hom hold so much more weight. Correct, because yeah. you you're you're 50. You're, 50. you're yeah. a Winter War with Supreme Fifty. Like right. yeah. nobody's playing with you. Yeah. I do, because I don't give a fuck. And that's why we're homies, <laughs> right. right? But like everybody else, I can see that they they not sure if he playing, if he joking, or whoop whoop. I don't give a fuck if he playing right. or not. I don't like even first time I met Fifth, I was like, bro, you. You look bigger than
he was like the the epitome of what we what we wanted to be. Right. And so I remember looking like, oh, I could take that nigga. Like, oh, I'm yeah. up. And then I seen him in person. I was like, he's also <laughs> way bigger now than that album. Oh yeah. yeah, he's oh, like yeah. Tw twice the size. Oh, now. bro, like, I'm over here like, yeah, like you might be a smooth six. And like biceps, like I'm like, oh yeah, I had to shoot you, bro. You you big, big, and more than nine times. Yes, he won't die. Yeah, ain't no square with us. Actually, a hood superhero, but yeah. um, I, I take that back to say, yeah, like I really do be enjoying how y'all are, and like that's why, like if y'all want to come to the album party, please do it. Be no, oh, for, sure. for sure, for yeah, sure. But that—that's why, like the BMF stuff, like, like we don't, we're not in our feelings about it. We love it. We're I like, love like what BMF stuff, what the, about? like, cause because Fifty does a lot of like Michael Meech, like a lot of like competition why? stuff. What you mean? What you talking about? Because it promotes the show, kind of like what you said. Oh, yeah, with, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with like Patina and and Taraji, like he but was all in on it though. He didn't. T he didn't tell us we're in. Yeah, I he don't he be just, telling us. We just, just like oh, he posted, no. and then we just yeah. gotta play along. Yeah. Like, oh shit! Yeah. I ain't yeah. yeah. bet fifty. Fuck me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but like, but like, I don't have like we don't have any hit. Like we had Vinci in here. Like I love him. He's such a good guy. He's got like yeah, those the homies. But I'll roast his ass online. Like yeah. I, you know what I mean? I you don't know what. There was one time, and like I told you, I'm fiercely protective of the people I care about. Because remember, I don't like people. So when I do like them, they're very precious to me. Makai is very precious to me. He's very precious to me. Patina is very precious to me. London, hey, very precious. So when I first seen the little shit going on and then somehow my guy got dragged into yeah, it, did. I was like, hey, bro, tell them people stop playing with you because I really just, it's just, I said, tell them stop. Right. I said, stop. I said, actually, that's not what happened. I said, I'm going to say something. He was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's like, don't get involved. I'm like, because I'm not going to say something online. I'm going to come to your DMs like, hey, bro, let's, 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 let's up, link yeah. up. Let's link up. <laughs> Because I don't know you like that. Now, now what I realized later was that, oh, you guys are all homies and cool. And, yeah. and then I was like, oh, y'all, this is some different shit. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't, well, don't what, you later, shit, like, what you realized later is that like 50 was trying to put Makai in to like to bring him up into the conversation. Uh, you know, because Makai doesn't is not online like that. He he doesn't go outside like that. And that's why 50 was like, bring him outside. As he should. Right, a hundred percent. Because again, he wants to turn him and no, he needs to we be out with five us. seasons, bro. I don't need him getting turned out nah, with y'all, nah. It's too late, nah. but whatever. <laughs> Me and Michael were drinking in the corner, like, yeah, Makai, get that girl right there. <laughs> I'm literally, yo, I'm literally in a, in a, in a, in a, we was in the strip club. Makai, this is when Makai's on the stage. I'm literally just watching. I'm like, yo, look at him, Tatchy. I didn't like Got him outside. There's a video of Michael going, ah, we corrupted him. We corrupted him. Because he's such a good, wholesome kid, man. Yeah, he yeah. is, man. He's he's so he's got a good so, heart. Like, kind. Yeah. And now we just ruining him, man. No, yeah. but it's cool though. Yeah, like I'm, I'm really proud of them people, man. And yeah, thank y'all for showing up, coming, pulling up to the to the album release. That's gonna be dope. It's of course. Be what, so so talk talk more about the music stuff. Like like what is this project specifically? Um, how, like how did it come about? Was it was it writer strike stuff? Was it just kind of on your own? Or no, I'm like I'm nominated for a Grammy before. I've done I've been doing music a long time. Like like I said, um, it's called Street Journals Volume One, and it's an EP. And it's five songs, whatever. And it's my heart, man. It's really like my past, like me just talking about the things I went through before I became whoever the fuck people think I am, right. and um, and how that affected me and changed me as a human being. So that's just like the shit. And it turns out people fuck with it. And um, you know, I'm hoping everybody like. I hope it go crazy. I think it's gonna go crazy, especially like with the feature uh, that I got on it. Well, who, go crazy. Who, who we got? Feature. I, now I told you this. I told y'all I wasn't gonna say nothing until I got here. Um, so we got a little baby on a feature. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, go crazy. Wow. That's hard. That yeah. is so crazy. wait, is this, go, is, by the time this is out. Yeah, this comes that, out Tuesday, his that, album comes out Friday. Yeah, so Fire. so nobody knows that. We Y'all know Y'all heard it here yeah. first, man. Lil Baby on the feature. Exclusive. Wow. The, song, the song's called Not Luck. It, the video's dropping the same day as the EP, so it's just everything just gonna drop. Y'all support it, y'all stream that shit. Go That's crazy. hard. Damn, Lil yeah. Baby's crazy. That's a good yeah. feature. He's a good nigga. He's a good nigga. Yeah. You, you, guys gotta, you guys gotta do something together, too, because yeah. Mike, Mike makes making fire beats. beats. Yeah, for real, for real? Yeah. yeah. I didn't beats. know that. Hell yeah. yeah. Everybody be so talented shit. in this universe, yeah, bro. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, dude. I can... Um... You got personality. Yeah. <laughs> you got personality. <laughs> I can make people laugh in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be a good producer one day, like like film producer. Like You're going to bring everybody together. You not only could be a star, you could bring stars together. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. People are going to like you. Even people who don't like other people like yeah. you. Because you hated me before. I did not like you. Yeah. I was like, oh, he still probably doesn't like me. Bro. No, I do. I genuinely, bro, you won, you won me all the way over. I was like, yeah, bro, just walk by like he didn't know who I was. All right, bro. All right. I see how you is. Don't, all right. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. When, don't say nothing when, 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 when the shit get lit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, and then he was just like, bro, I really like your character. He's like, so nice. And like, I'm like, fuck, I can't even be mean to this. Like, damn, you hate those people. Yeah, like, like, 
bro. I want to be mean in this nigga so bad, <laughs> but he's making it so, so hard. hard. <laughs> like, bro, say some fuck shit. Let me <laughs> let me disparage your character or something. Like, what's up? And you're just like, no, I really respect you. This is a great time, and I'm just glad to be here. And I'm sipping my gallons. And then, like, God, I love being in the power universe. I mean, like, <laughs> he's like, I'm wearing 50 shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I support the homies. I bought Mary J. Blige's shirt. I, at a I am down with the homies. That's a fact. You really are. It's it's, it's kind of hilarious. Yeah. yeah. But I actually respect it. It seems genuine. Yeah. My boy Etienne Maurice is like that. He has a wellness um camp and he has that energy. Just everybody is so it's so pure. You like, is it real? And then you realize it is, and you're like, well, fuck. Now he's too good to be true. Yeah. No, I just like I just like people. Like I just I, like I like I don't know. I just like talking to fucking artists and people who make me laugh. Or you made me laugh the second you came in. I was like, nah, I like this guy. If you can make me laugh off rip, I'm like, nah. This yeah, that's is one thing that, that people don't know. I'm really fucking funny. Yeah. But I don't be trying to be because your character is serious. Like yeah. pe people think you. People think we are our characters. Which, lucky enough for for me, I was I did a lot of me. Yeah, in the people brain. really think I killed my biological dad. Like this shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I met his biological. Dad. Yeah, Michael Rainey Senior is very much still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Rainey Senior is still alive and well, man. Shout out pops. No, and the growth and really real life, the growth that y'all have done as actors on the show. I must say, from where you started, from that long ass monologue in the first one, where I was like. <laughs> that shit was long, man. But now, when he gives them monologues, I'm like. Okay. A little show. Okay. A little show. Okay. I'm like, if you want to come over. <laughs> come over come where? On. Raise a cannon. Come, come on over. over. Come on over. You we can come get over. paid more. Ah! We, we got more viewership. We got hosting. But if you want to do some thespianism. Right. Thespianism. Come on over to us. That Listen. <laughs> I like my Porsche, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Well, to be fair, I have a role, so. Oh, Ooh. do you? Ooh. Yeah. All right, Ooh. damn. I might come Ooh. over to Raising Cane. <laughs> oh, he's like, hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming to Raising Cane. We got Brayden as a baby in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> one of the songs, one of, well, I'm a, uh, the thing is I, I own a luxury car business at some point. Oh, I have right. equity, so that's why I cheat coded. Wait, what, shout right. out in here. Put my cheat coded. So look, the way, so it was booming during the pandemic, and I might sell my equity. That's why, I, yeah, whatever. Yeah, actually, Beverly Hills, luxury car rentals. Me and my nigga Muhammad. Boom. Damn, I think I crashed one of those back in the... I believe you did, and we probably cashed out because you crashed because the insurance. Nah, I put a fake card on there. <laughs> I think I, I think I, yeah, I heard of that. I heard of that. We gave you business. We out there all the time. <laughs> no, but like, but he's the he's the main stake owner. I've just participated in a small equity because I was gonna go take my money to go buy a car. Right. And then I was just like, oh, I fuck with bro, like. Hey man, can I get in on your business? He tried to sell me the whole shit. I'm like, nigga, this is expensive. Like, yeah, I don't need the whole shit. Yeah. This is a little something. <laughs> but even now, like, we trying to like where where it is is like where I'll get a car and he put it on the lot and then I can just drive whatever's there whenever it's not there. But the thing is, all the cars are fired, so it looked like I got a Ferrari, Benz, right. all that. I'm not gonna cap. I don't own one car. I own yeah. a stake in a business that owns a bunch of cars, which is smarter anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you could use them whenever you yeah. want. Exactly. So when Braden makes jokes about having a Porsche, I'm like, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Rolls, I got a Ferrari, I got a Porsche, I got a Lambo, I got all that. I got you when you cut to L.A., baby. I got you, y'all. <laughs> You, you know, Aston Martin, me, Martin me, I got you. Send me a pick of the fleet, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fleet. Send no. the fleet. <laughs> but, but it was way more, way more lucrative during the um, pandemic. Now it's cool. It's still cool. It's still a good business. But um, for me, everything I do is not to like, I don't really like chains. I, like, I enjoy good cars, but you know, putting those things on the road in Cali is like, fucks up your whole shit. So yeah. I just kind of like, eh. I just like make it an equity investment, yeah. but um, yeah, but it's nice though. Might as well make some money off the cars. You, you got to do some. Yeah. Gotta do some. Gotta make a shake. Had to uh, pay for this album somehow. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, studio yeah. time's not cheap. No, it is not. Um, Features ain't either. Yeah. Well, well, if they fuck with you, it could be it, the price could be less than like I'll say thing about like baby like you know he be really hitting niggas over the head and with me oh, he, yeah. he was very um, respectful. He was very like I fuck with you so it's not gonna be like it is with everybody else and that was um, unexpected and appreciated. Shout out to to that man and um, and I think he's it, I probably have the best little baby verse of like the past two years. Really. Oh God! And he even came in the studio and was like, "You got me right after album mode, and now I feel like I'm I'm really, really, I'm really in." That's a good time to catch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, time. I'm really locked. He's, he's like, a I'm, good dude too. Every time I met him, he's person. super yeah, nice, shout out, baby. super good. He's, he's such a good camp. dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. straight. They yeah. Straight. Are you excited for next season of Raising Canaan? Um, yeah, of course. I'm always excited for the next season, but we don't know when it's coming up because we keep getting pushed for force. Bro, this shit is crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't even understand. Like, what's the what's the logic? Logic of it. What's yeah. the logic? Why did we... September? It's above me now. Yeah, I don't know. It's above I'm me. not in a suit. I just show up, and make a dick joke, and leave. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'm like, hey, well, whatever it is, I'm like, look, we dropping music. I don't care. Bro. Yeah, we yeah, gonna right? get in this fuck sure. it. They we keep pushing the shit back. We gonna go ahead. Yeah. 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 I low key was like, you know what? I was talking to Tank, and I was like, Tank, hey, and like when I finally finished the song, they had locked the music for your show. But I was like, Tank was like, bro, I wish we could have put this. 
this on yeah. the show. And I was like, yeah, it would I been finally crazy. got a chance to get some shit in the show. Yeah, this he's season. Too. how'd it go? How'd it go? Um, it was cool. It was cool. I'm, me and Tank going through the process right now, mm -hmm. so we doing all like you know the legal shit, paperwork, and all of that. Oh, that's some fire. I'm hyped. My boy Will Face Joey got a song in this season. Is he excited? Yeah, he's dumb. Oh, that's he's hard. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. tough. Oh wait, Will Face Joey, he just he just like my my uh my shit on Instagram. Where, yeah, he's a good artist. He's yeah, a that's artist. my boy. That's we we. Wait, you produce his song? Yeah, yeah, I produce a lot of shit for him. Oh, he's tight. I like him. We got a mixtape coming soon. So All right, go ahead, be, plug that. Let's yeah. plug it. June 23rd yeah. for Street Journal Volume 1. Listen, I don't know the release date for this, but shout out to Joey, Wolfface Joey, me and my boy. We got a mixtape coming soon. We there it goes. There it go. Plug, plug everything you got. Instagram, oh, your shit. businesses. Um, All that. God damn it. Well, the business I think I'm divesting out of, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to. I don't want to give I'm just kidding. I already <laughs> shouted him out. He's yeah. going to get some bread. Um, let's say, what am I doing? Street Journal Volume 1. Sticks and Stones is already out. Music video streaming everywhere. And then uh, on June 23rd, that's when the single drops. Not luck. Me, little baby, it's gonna go crazy. So you can pre-order it now, just so when it drops, you ain't gotta wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, of all. Get that pre-save. Look at that. Oh God! So and it's... Raising Canaan is out whenever Stars decides that we <laughs> yeah. should come out. And they are now working on the next season. So once y'all, you know, I know y'all like asking, when's the season coming? What y'all do? We all working. <laughs> That's a fact. We all working. We've been work us. We've been working since January. Y'all been fact. asking for season four before. Well, he's been working since ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Brayden's been working since ten a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just glad to be here. So. Yeah, man. Half the universe is excited. Raising Canaan's coming back. <laughs> Half of our viewership <laughs> is excited. Raising Canaan. Yes, coming the ones back. with brains. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Everybody else, fuck y'all. I will say it is fucking fire. Thank you, brother. Everything yeah. about it. It's so artistically like just. Beautiful, the way it's shot, the way it's stylized, the writing—it's fucking fire. Now half the people watch it, so they watch our show. And one day, and one day, maybe they will, will you know, slide on over. But what I will say is, I appreciate you about y'all show, man. Y'all always style. Yeah. If you want to talk about style, yeah. Some of the shit y'all wear don't even make sense. I'm just like. No one's wearing that. It's too much money. Yes. Why is selling drugs in that? Why the fuck is Kane killing someone in a twelve thousand dollar Louis V jacket? Yeah, like, yeah, what's going why do y'all even sell drugs anymore? Yeah. That's the one question about the power universe I've always had. All you got to do I is would, sell the wardrobe. Sell your closet. You sell the city in your closet. You fine. He's sitting there like, like I gotta get to pay this money back. Sell the shoes. Yeah. The only critique I have about the power universe is: Will you tell us how much money people are making? Just tell us. We're not the we're not the feds. Red comes and goes. What does that mean? Red comes. What does it mean? You're, we're getting 50k from the drop. We're spending 30 on on clothes. So you we guys are just bad managers. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I we're right. it's, it's bad financial management. Yeah. In, I never in, know because here's the thing. Look, so I'm an actual street nigga. Y'all can't get this by me, and this needs to go into the goddamn show. Cut the first half. This is more important. <laughs> there is a difference between re up money and yo money. The delta, if you if you trade, there's delta, which is the profits. If you're in the penthouse that your daddy and y'all grew up in. That's a 10 to 20 million dollar fucking penthouse. <laughs> then they had stacks of mint in the goddamn bank. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why are we still selling drugs? Bro, I'm trying <laughs> to figure out. You answer this to me now. <laughs> but the thing is, though, <laughs> we got to remember, I invested a lot of money, and a lot of that money got taken. It got stolen. How, how, how it got stolen? This nigga. With the Western Holdings this season. But also, but earlier in the thing, that mu that penthouse didn't go to Tariq because Ghost didn't want him to have it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he only gave me the watches. He only yeah, gave you me. Ain't the, but yeah. that nigga, the watches but, but alone. I don't, but, but, but I don't get the I don't get some of the watches until I graduate college. Oh correct. Because it's still in college. So the trust was set up to fuck you. Right. Yeah, basically. Basically, the trust was set up so there's a show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he basically set up the trust to. Really you guys do realize you guys are shit drug dealers. You know that. Yeah, we we yeah, we're, not the, we're, we're not the best publicly. We're not the best. We're not. Okay, the, well, now, what the fuck? Are you, what about you guys over no, no, there? No, no, we're terrible. Look, yeah. look, 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 our management team is all over the place. We're, yeah. We do not have a mission statement that yeah. we stick by. What, look, look, look. I'm very honest. Look, Franklin Saint is a terrible drug dealer. Everybody in the drug universe is a terrible drug right. dealer. Right, right. The because is, there would be no show. True. Now, what I will give the Franklin character in Snowfall is he did seem to have more operational skills. Right. That nigga was on some shit, though. No, he was on some, like, like he made the bigger moves and lost a, the less money until the end, which they yeah, had. Yeah, but where did he end up? What does that mean? Like, like. Brayden, like you murdered people the other week. Like, what do you mean end up? <laughs> I'm always talking to me in character. He's like, Brayden, right. <laughs> you murdered people the other week. What are we talking about? Um, but but like, if I look at who sells drugs, the smart, it's like probably gonna be um your boy from the wire, right? Like Marlo. Like, well, it's Marlo. I, I would say Narcos. I would say you got Pablo Escobar. He died. Yeah, but he was balling. So, <laughs> no, no, so he was good at the job. Yeah. 
Okay, but 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 then Allen obviously is one of the best ball players of all time. No championship, yeah. right? Like, what matters more to you, right? Because y'all have a great run. If we're talking like that, y'all run is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are fucking all the women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and all the drugs. <laughs> That's true. The actresses are great. They're great. They sell drugs too. <laughs> it's a multi-layered business of drug dealing. Yet I don't understand how nobody understands saving expenses, modest. Like yeah. y'all just don't want to win. I had this conversation where we go into the writers' room and I'm like. Can we just be on top of the world? <laughs> like, what are we going to... And they're like, D there's no show. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like I, I've made this joke before. Imagine Brandon and Tariq pull up in the Porsche to the drop. It goes smoothly. Okay, look, check this out. The episode's four minutes long. No, let me blow your mind. You don't go to the drop. Why would you be going to the drop? You're worth $5 million Wait, right, but then cash. there's no show. Wait, then it, then that is the show. Then it's me. Show. No, no, this is the show. You then, saw The Sopranos. You saw The Sopranos. Then it's me, him playing video games like this. No, and no, then, no, And then he gets a phone on the burner, drop's done, and then we're just like this. <laughs> the Sopranos. That's, that's the episode. Because drug, dealers, drug, drug dealers don't die. Town. Drug dealers don't die. They get fat and move to Miami. So check me out. <laughs> the Sopranos is literally the show about the guy that, that made it. Yeah. And it's one of the best shows of all time. We can have a little bit of that. We can have a little bit of y'all won. What if there was right? a whole season of... Let us win. I'm, actually, I'm on your side. I want that to win. happen. You know what let we, us win, man. We, we have five seasons of craziness. What if there was just out? one season of y'all making good decisions? Yeah, just yeah. making good decisions. Just smart, and, and, solid. And enjoying yeah. the fruits of our hey, labor. Like, <laughs> like, 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 did you invest that? <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. you... Why are you wearing those? Th he's actually has three thousand dollars Yeezys on right now. I was like, why are you wearing those three thousand dollars Yeezys? <laughs> That's Michael Rainey. <laughs> so Listen, the, so the characters are reflective. Of yeah, that. got it. We got have it. we have now blurred the lines. Meanwhile, I have no chains, nothing on, and I'm like Rolls. <laughs> like, <laughs> Rolls. Yeah, yeah. Like, he got crazy. the Rolls Royce though. I would love a fucking Rolls Royce. <laughs> I love a Rolls Royce. Can no, you feet man. up in the back of the Cully? That's like, come crazy. on, man. Actually, bro, I'm so tired of driving. It is it's New York. It's, it's a, yeah, New York is annoying. It's really annoying. Like driving is annoying. Like. Like at this point, I don't drive like to get to point A to point B. I drive like for actual fun. Like if I'm gonna drive my car, I'm going with like five, six of my men. We're gonna go drift and do crazy I'm, shit. I'm kind of I upset. I feel like I gave you guys a bad interview. You know why? Cause mine, like we just talking like real homies and I feel like I didn't say nothing controversial. I didn't say nothing crazy. That's not how we operate. Fuck people, people love, people love just seeing, that's why I love podcasts because people mm. just have real conversations with people just, just kicking it. But I gotta sell albums, bro. All right, so then just I cash down the rolls to pay for the album. Okay, so say something ridiculous right now, and then we'll clip it and we'll you say, "Oh my God, Malcolm Mays punches Johnny in the face mid interview." Right? <laughs> no, but I like you. <laughs> it's I tough. know I am pretty cool. <laughs> it's tough. You know what, bro? I'm a real nigga. Just buy this shit. Yeah, like I got, I got. Did a you just say you hate Fifty Cent? <gasps> yeah, but he know. Bro, I'm... clip that, clip that. <laughs> hey, yo, that's okay. He know I hate him, but he also know I love him. <laughs> but like what? he said, hate it or love it. <laughs> yeah, I, love it I hate so and love this guy. <laughs> I hate him because he's so him and love him because I want to be what he is. Yeah, Unapologetically a... himself the at all times. He's the only person that can hold probably hundreds of millions worth of brand deals and sponsorships and say the most the non-cancer. The, yeah, yeah. That's what I want to be. Yeah, I want to yes. be able to sit on your couch and be like, hey, my nigga, you know who a fuck nigga? The head of fucking stars. Yeah. And then yeah. go do five shows with stars. That would be great. We that's like it. him, though. <laughs> we like him here at the crew has it. Yeah, love, you know I love you, dog. Yeah. Like, he's really like somebody I actually admire. Really. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Wait, I was just playing. Hell but um, no, like, dude, you didn't give a bad interview. We had a fucking good time. We season, laughed our ass off. We laughed our ass off. We had a good time. You were nah, funny, dude. I'll come back one day. <laughs> please. Yeah, please bro. come back. Cool. Right before you. Raising Candidates, come back. Oh, for sure. Yeah, 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 I'll do that. I'll do an episode episode wrap thing. Yeah. Oh, my recaps go crazy because I just talk shit. Yeah. I'm well, doing a recap. Yeah, we we we, we are toying with the idea of potentially like doing ten force recaps, ten Kanan recaps, and having everyone on. If Stars wants to flirt with the boys, we'll maybe bring it over. There. Like that's a potential that My we would like to do. My recap game is crazy, bro. We'd love to have you. You ever seen like Snoop talking over those animal documentaries? <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's me. I love them shit. That's me like, with the with line, the power cause... shit. I be watching your shit. Like what the fuck is what's going on <laughs> about my own character? This nigga's a bitch. <laughs> yo, re, yo, I've been doing the same shit. I would never forget. Yeah. I was watching the episode where it's the it's the funeral. And they they after Dre, and then I tell Dre, yo, they coming for you. And I'm looking at the episode, I'm like, damn, why the fuck did I do this? Like, why didn't I let <laughs> yeah. this nigga die? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm bugging. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when Kay, I hate when Kane sons braid in the episodes. I'm like, I would beat Woody's ass. <laughs> I, would I don't know, man. Woody Woody's kinda ass. big. Woody kinda big. I know you be training this shit, like, you know, but like, that'd be actually a good fight. I would pay for that. They need to put that in that. Do y'all physically fist fight in this in the episode? No, nah, but he's always like just and Braden's always like, okay. <laughs> it would be dope if y'all if you actually buck because you know you buck at him once or twice and it's yeah. kind of cool. Mm -hmm. If y'all had a fight, yeah. like yeah, a that'd fade, be fire. yeah, that'd be fire. 
like a real and fade, I and Brayden actually was. Yeah. Brayden was playing. Yeah. Well, well, that, that can't happen anymore because Brayden uh, killed Kane at the end of season three. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to Power. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's over. That's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> I need one more season now. <laughs> he's like, I need one more. Thank you, Malcolm. Like, we appreciate it, bro. Listen, man. Yeah, it's, a, it's tough. It's tough for the game, man. Thank My you, guy. Hey, man, fuck with y'all. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Nah, fuck with y'all. Hey, bro.